Ramo from Switzerland. Hello. Hi, good to see you. It's good to see you. You know what's interesting is Babyface. Miss Babyface. Big voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now on stage, this very dramatic, warish staging. We love it. Could you tell us, how did your rehearsal go? My rehearsals went uh, pretty well, so it was uh, an amazing feeling to be finally on stage and uh, I was so excited and I'm now even more excited because I really enjoyed to be there and uh, I can't wait for Tuesday. You were very powerful in your movements, it was like, and you were like a soldier in some ways. This sort of strength, this assertiveness, was that your choreographer or is this you just unleashing the beast? <laughs> unleashing the beast, no, I think uh, also it was uh, also kind of uh, Sasha's choice you know like uh, I, it was super great to work with her and I think she um, yeah did a great impact to me with uh, learning to express your feelings with movements I think yeah I uh, learned a lot from her and there's a great moment towards the end where you're sort of running like yeah. in your music video what is that moment the moment feels like uh, breaking free getting a uh, in a better world and being happy in the end, which is very important. Yeah. Happy ending story. <laughs> I really like the flares, like the smoke. It gives it a bit of, um, I mean this in a good way, dirtiness. You know, it's yeah. a little dirty. What about these effects? Could you tell us about them? You mean with what? Like what? there's like a flare, smoke. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. I think uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of power also to, oh, to yeah. express the power and the strength of the song. Mm. And the colors, we saw in the clip a lot of red, yeah. a lot of black. Does this have special meaning? Um, I think red is a color who can be, uh, yeah, can express different things. So it can be love, but it also can be something very strong, powerful, something kind also maybe strong and aggressive. Probably yeah. a little bit, it can be uh, seen in different ways. So I think red is a good color for our song. And the clothes are very fashion, mm. very Zurich fashion week. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, and it's an interesting pairing because you have like the fashion and then the war. Well, um, was that deliberate? I never wore something before, so uh, it was very cool to, uh, to try out different styles. And I think yeah. uh, it's a modern song and uh, it's also good to, yeah, I, I like the, those clothes, definitely. Right. <laughs> and the voice does not waver, really. We watch the clip over and over and it's just so perfect. Oh, thank you so, so much. So you can be honest, do you ever mess up or is it always just perfect? Uh, I can say I think uh, it always works kind of pretty well, luckily. Also when I'm sick, if I go to stage, uh, for those kind of minutes it always kind of works and hopefully it will be also ah. like this in the future. It's like this magical power or something. I think so, yeah. Do your parents sing? No, they don't. Uh, my father uh, plays accordion and he's very, uh, okay. he, he's a musician, but uh, no one sings. Ah. So how did they find out that Baby Raymo could sing? Baby Raymo <laughs> could sing. Uh, I enjoyed it by myself because I was playing piano and one day I started to try also singing and I recorded myself, posted it on Instagram and everyone loved it. So uh, yeah, and I had always a lot of fun. So I always did it further and further and further until I had my first gig. It's incredible, really. Um, so in terms of practice then, do you have to practice or the first time you sang the song, that was it? It was good? No, no, I have to practice also for sure. And I think the song was also kind of an improvement. It was not uh, strict like that, uh, which it is now. So it was kind of a little bit slower, more uh, kind of musical sound and we wanted to, to do it in a kind of pop way, so. Okay, and it's a very good balance actually because it's very glossy, professional, but it does feel like a radio song as well. Yeah. Have you heard it in Switzerland yet? Yeah, it's uh, working pretty well. I just heard yesterday that we are um, ranking number three in Swiss Airplay's charts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, gosh, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> I, I love it. I'm very happy about it. It's brilliant. I, it is, must be a powerful moment if you're in the grocery store and suddenly you hear Your song, water gun. Yeah, it was so strange. <laughs> and now tell me, do you still have another job or are you focusing on your music now? At the moment, I'm 100% focused on my music career and hopefully also in future. Yeah. Let's find out. <laughs> brilliant. And what I love is how, we talk about this all the time, you sold sports equipment before. Yeah. So you know how to win an audience. So you know like how to get people on side. Do you use that on the stage or is it something totally different? I think it's kind of uh, very different, but for sure I learned a lot of things uh, during working in a, in a sports shop, working with uh, 
people. I think I learned a lot of things there, but uh, I think you can't compare it with being on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and when was the last time you felt nervous? Last time I felt nervous was actually uh, one week ago when we had the first rehearsal. Okay. Because uh, I didn't knew how everything will work and uh, if it works like that, we prepared, you know, and right. uh, every thing uh, came together on stage for the first time but luckily it worked pretty well. You've performed in many places, many stages, but does this stage feel different? It does, definitely, because uh, I think also with the background uh, in your head, uh, what's happening there, and yeah. it's so huge and uh, it's a, an amazing audience, and I think it's something very different. Okay. And in rehearsals, of course, no one is there. It's, you know, just your team. Yeah. Is that difficult then to give your all? Mm, I think it will be easier yeah, with the audience inside, mm. but I think at those three minutes you're on stage, uh, I'm with my in-ears and uh, with the lightning and stuff, like, I'm so focused on everything because also the movements yeah. I, I dance for the first time I never danced before ever ever really? never, never before and I think uh, it needs a lot of uh, concentration so so uh, I'm very impressed honestly <laughs> so did Sasha have to work hard with you or did it come very easily for you it came actually very natural I was shocked too because I always thought I can't move but uh, <laughs> yeah it, it's a lot of fun I enjoy it maybe we'll see you on do you think you can dance like you'll be on these other shows maybe yeah hopefully <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of the dancing, was it physically, it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is having to dance while having to sing, that's a little more complicated than just singing. It is, yeah, actually, yeah. because I, I never thought it's so hard because there are two things which needs a lot of power and uh, to combine them both together that nothing of both of them will uh, lose of energy, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it needed a long of uh, preparation. Oh my goodness, well, you're absolutely killing it, really. Thank you so much. But last night we saw you at the Nordic party. Oh yeah. Yeah, you were dancing, moving, enjoying. Are you having fun in Liverpool away from the stage? Definitely, I think it's a great city. Everyone is super friendly. It's also very funny and uh, I really appreciate it. But last night I should go to, to bed uh, <laughs> earlier because I'm kind of very tired. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. You know, a Swiss audience, What's the difference between performing for a Swiss audience as opposed to, you know, these international audiences you've encountered in recent weeks? I think people in Switzerland are always kind of a little bit shy and oh. hold it back and uh, here everyone is shouting out and being so uh, powerful, which is uh, very supportive. Yeah. For sure, it's also very supportive in Switzerland. I love Swiss audience, but I think uh, also if they see a celebrity on the street, they don't uh, ask them <laughs> for a picture. They think, oh, let's... Yeah. yeah. And here everyone is coming, hey, can we do a picture? And this is your Roger Federer moment. <laughs> it is. It's incredible. <laughs> Actually, yeah. But you know, it must be special because just now these people are from all over the place in the audience. Yeah. Here in England, yes, but also Germany, Italy, France. And they know your name and they shout when you come in. It must feel amazing. It's feel, it feels amazing, yeah. I think I will uh, be very sad if I go back to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Never want to, to lose this. Now, you're from a very unique place. Could you tell us about your hometown and how you think that shaped you as a person? My hometown is a small village uh, which is called Hamburg. And, uh, it's kind of a, on a hill, it's, there lives, I think, 900 people are living there and everyone knows each other and uh, it's a wonderful nature. We see all the mountains of Switzerland oh and uh, yeah, it was a very great childhood, definitely, because yeah, I'm also very connected to the nature, you know, if I, now I live uh, closer to the city and when I need some, some free time and I just want to relax, I drive uh, to my parents' house and just going walking around oh. and uh, it gives me a lot of power. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. I guess everyone in Hamburg knows that you're at Eurovision. Yeah, actually, yeah. Is do. there going to be a viewing party? Yeah, they will do. <laughs> I also saw some pictures, my mother uh, sent me them uh, a few days ago, that they're having some shields uh, hanging around oh. with uh, Go For It, Remo, and uh, oh my gosh. it feels so good. Well, I, did you get to say goodbye to them before you came here? Yeah, actually, yeah. Wow. And did they, was there a special going away party? Not a going away party, but they're planning an arriving back party. So. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> now, I I know you're going to perform here at Lush Lounge in a minute, Yeah. but we were curious, is there a little tease you could give us of another song, maybe a song that you competed
lead with on The Voice of Switzerland. Oh yeah, definitely. Because we've seen these clips and they're amazing. Yeah, I sang So Many Love by Luis Capaldi in the Blind Audition and uh, it went totally viral. So it's one um, an important song. Can we get the chorus? Yeah, sure. So, for now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all. I let my guard down and then you pull it getting kind of used to being someone you love. Oh, if there was a hat, I'd be throwing money yeah. in it right now. That was incredible. Yeah, thank you. And Remo, we just want to thank you so much for coming today with a little for gift sure. bag. Oh, <laughs> This really? is courtesy of Lush. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not sure what's in it though. Oh. Oh. Something to, to get a bath. Oh, a unicorn bath bomb. It'll explode in your bathtub. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I have a big bathtub at home and I will use them as soon as I come home. <laughs> incredible. Remo from Switzerland, semi-final one. What's the starting number? Eight. Eight, which is your lucky number. It is. <laughs> Call for Switzerland. Y'all need to vote. Get him into the final. Ramo, thank you so much, really. We appreciate you, you taking the time to come here. For sure. It's a pleasure, too. Thank, thank you. you so much.